Hello everyone, uh, Dr. Hassan is here from Henry Ford College. So I'm recording this video to show you how to play with Arduino. It's a little kit and very interesting to learn about, again, programming, learn about uh, computer hardware, how to create uh, a, like a control system, how to make it autonomous. So in this uh, given tutorial, I have two kits. So I'm going to start with the basic uh, starter kit, which has a set of LEDs, resistors, and the Arduino board. Now, basically what kits come with is the board, the Arduino board, and then we have the breadboard that you can use it for wiring, a set of wires, bunch of LED lights, and resistors. So um, what my aim today is, I'd like to unpack first what comes with it. So this one comes with a set of LED lights that you can see it there, a USB cable, uh, the Arduino board, a bunch of resistors, and then I have a lot of wires and the breadboard, of course. It has a little bit extra parts in it which is like a couple of switches, a buzzer, uh, I'm guessing like a temperature sensor. So if you want to create like for, for different application, you can use them. But let me just to get it started with the Arduino and then the breadboard. So the breadboard itself has, get out of there. So as you can see, the breadboard has two rail, a positive rail and a negative rail and then has a bunch of rows, which is starting from number one in my case, it goes to 30. Now, the, the concept of breadboard is that, uh, I just create, draw a shape here for demonstration, that the positive and negative rail are all connected. So if you give power to these two, you can use it for all sorts of instruments. LED light, if you want to use, uh, if you have a couple of sensors that they need power, you can use. And then I have a set of rows, that rows are connected uh, and like f uh, underneath the rows are connected. So again, I don't want to destroy the board, but if you just take a pick on what's going behind this, you would notice what I'm talking about, right? If you look into here, you can see there is a positive and negative rail that they are connected. So underneath these rows, they are wires that connect them together. Now, I want to create a very basic circuit. In this case, I want to create LED light connected to resistor and turn it on. So again, in this tutorial, in the next step, I will go to Arduino and then make this LED light to flash. So let's get started with, um, with the LED light blinking. So as you can see in my tutorial, I have the Arduino board and the breadboard and then the, the, the circuit that I want to create. So let's unpack the board then you can use your USB to power the board so there you go okay perfect so mine light lit up meaning that the power is there already for yours could be just flashing for a second then disappear. So anyway, um, again, de depending on the type of board that you have. I'm gonna do a little bit of zooming so you can see what's going on. Now on the Arduino board, you have from zero all the way going to 13. So these are digital input output. Digital input output are zero one. Like for instance, if you wanna turn on LED light, if you wanna turn on a coffee machine, so any signal that you want to use as a zero one, that's called digital. It can read, it can write, right? Reading, reading a switch, meaning that coming on or off, or giving a signal out. In the other side, I have A0 through A5. Those are for analog. Analog is a continuous signal, like a temperature, pressure sensor, or something on that range. And then I have 5V and I have the GND. So 5V stands for 5 volt. So I'm going to do a little bit more zoom in so you can see the 5V. So 5V is here. Beside that is the GND. Maybe I need to move the board a little bit up so you can see the 5V. This is the 5V. Beside that we have the GND. So 5V and GND. So what the, the, in the first step, what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab two wires and connect the 5V and GND to the positive and negative in my breadboard. 
So let's do this as the first step. So I'm unpacking the wires. Again, I, have, I got a bunch of wires. Again, color is important, but because sometimes you don't have all those colors, right, to do color coding. But again, myself, I'm going to grab a one wire, connect one side of it to the 5V, the other side of it to positive, and then repeat the process for the next wire. The next wire will be connected from, again, anywhere on the positive. It doesn't matter where. And then I'm going to connect it to negative to the GND. So at this moment, I do have power, again, I need to move this one to 5V. I have power all across the board. Like, again, in um, what I'm saying, I'm saying the positive and negative rail on the breadboard, they already have the power. So I grab one LED light and then one resistor. So pay attention to LED lights. They have a longer leg and they have a shorter leg. My resistors comes like this. So I would remove one of them. This is a resistor. So you can actually tilt the two legs, make it like this. Then once you have it like that, you can actually plug the resistor into two different rows. Now what I want to make, I want to make this, this circuit here. Okay. So remember that the power will go through, the, the electricity will go through the resistor, then through LED light. Otherwise, if you don't do that, you can burn the LED light. So I'm going to plug it in in two different rows. It doesn't matter where, but just pay attention to where it is. So mine is one in row eight. The other leg is in row 15. I have a little bit of a struggle punching this stuff in. Kind of, I got it in there. So one is in row eight, the other one is in row 13. So pay attention to the leg of LED lights. One of them is longer than the other one. So in this case, I, I know this is the longer leg. So let me just to show you under the camera. So the longer leg is the positive leg. The shorter leg is the negative leg. Remember, it is important. If you don't put them in the right order, they won't turn on. So again, this would need to touch. Again, you see, resistors need to touch the shorter leg of LED in the circuit. So I'm going to put them on the same row. In this case, is row 13. I'm going to put the shorter leg of LED in row 13. The longer... It doesn't matter where. It came to row 16 the long. Now I'm going to grab two more wires. One wire connect row 8, which is down here. Remember, like if you, if you look at the number that I did, this is came to row 8. This one came to row 13. Both of them are in row 13. This one came to row 16. Right? To complete my circuit, I need to connect 16 to pos positive and 8 to negative. So let me do that. So row 8 to negative I'm gonna grab another wire and then connect row 16 this is a big wire just need a short wire so row 16 to the positive so you can see LED light turn on turned on because the circuit is closed now, I want to make this LED light flashing. So let's go through the tutorial. How can we do that? So what, what I like you to do is that download the Arduino program. If you have a Windows computer, you can easily do that. You can actually go to Google and then in Google search for Arduino. Download. Then there is something called software. So click on the software. It's a little bit confusing when you want to download. Again, I don't have a Mac. I use the PC, which is more comfortable for Arduino. Then you can click in here, Windows, like 7 or newer. Uh, remember that you can just download. Then you can see I'm downloading this. So once you download the version, you can install it on your laptop. Again, in my case, I already downloaded. So let me open it. Arduino. Okay, when you install it, make sure that you, you finish next, next, next. Make sure the USBs are installed. Now, on the Arduino program, once you open the program, 
it actually wants to open a new one so I don't know what this one is allow access okay that access was for uh, the USB so I'm, I'm guessing again I already have a program on mine I'm just gonna click on file create a new one so this is the new program the font could be very small for you I'm a little bit zoom in so you can see the program came from two setup on the top I have void setup on the bottom I have void loop on the void setup you can actually set up input and output in this case for LED light I like to get it into like if you just take a look at it again so I want this thing to start flashing so when I like to flash in okay ask me from where the signal needs to come in this case instead of coming from positive I'm gonna borrow one of the pins on my Arduino I'm gonna borrow pin 3 so I'm gonna remove from positive here and then make that connection to number 3 so I believe nothing would happen if I do that because I have not programmed it right nothing is happening now remember instead of 16 here this thing is connected to number 3 on digital on digital side so moving on to the Arduino on the top I need to define pin number 3 so I'm gonna say pin mode number 3 would be output all done don't forget about the semicolon in the void loop I can put a repetition right void loop is where we repeat the code I'm gonna repeat the code as uh, digital right number three comma high again make sure that you are like the lowercase uppercase is important digital is all lowercase W is high, is, uh, is uppercase and high is all uppercase and then don't forget about the semicolon I'm going to put a delay of, for instance, a delay of 500, which stands for like half a second, 500 millisecond. I repeat the same code, but this time I'm inst I make the high low. So again, I'm going to copy paste it. This time I make this low. So what does this mean? Half a second high, half a second low. So the signal will go for half a second and then the signal will stop after half a second so pay attention when I want to upload it on the board you can press on the first check mark it will check again ask me to save of course save it it's gonna ask me for again the, the compiling will will check for the errors on your code again for me it's still compiling if you have any error on the code it's gonna show up there sometimes it could be confusing but if you see error you may be missing a semicolon or your syntax is not correct so the second check mark is the upload again if I directly upload to the board it's not gonna work so before you upload to the board make sure that you go to tools you need to do it once every time that you connect the board so then when you go there find the ports which is this is the port and then on the port make sure that you come and select the Arduino Uno in, in my laptop is like com6 Right now if I unplug plug it back may become a different com but it give me Arduino Uno there the other thing I can check I can check whether the board is okay so you can actually click on the board the board is Arduino Uno which is good so look like everything is set up now I can upload it to upload the code to the program so let's see what's happening once it's uploading see it came back the code is coming back and then it's flashing for uh, 500 milliseconds so if I go to the code and I change the time it can go flash faster or slower so you can do the same thing so if I go back to the Arduino and then change the 500 maybe to something like 100 so let's make the change here make 500 100 and then I'm gonna change the other 500 to 100 as well again you can upload again so click on the arrow that arrow is the upload now if I go back to the diagram and then you can see it's flashing much much faster because I uploaded a new code on it. okay thank you very much for watching this little video you can actually set up more LED lights and we have a challenge called traffic signal challenge where you can use actually 12 of these LED lights and then create a whole traffic signal from two sides and uh, 
um, see them okay don't forget to visit my web log and then you can actually grab a tutorial from there if you need to get more information to work with the codes and, and different videos so my web log is drnam.org slash again i'm gonna show it to you slash arduino i'm gonna put all lowercase again uppercase or lowercase should work but uh, that's going to be the place where we uh, store our the tutorials. We create a repos repository of different uh, tutorial in there for you.